Yes, it is Food City Thursday this week. That's right. I like, I like switching it up every now that, and again. That's a good thing to do. It keeps I you on think. your toes. That's right. It really does. And you know, growing up in Northeast Tennessee, October was always the time we got great fresh apples coming Absolutely. in. Places My like favorite. over in North Carolina, we go over there to Elk Park and we go to Unicoi County, yes. pick up some great apples, great apple recipes. My mom would make pies and cakes and everything. And that's what you're doing for us today. That's what I'm it? doing because we have the Apple Festival coming up in Irwin. Right, which happens is a big tomorrow. Deal. That's yes. right. And I was thinking, well, October, you think Oktoberfest. So I thought, why don't we just kind of mix it together and do German apple recipes? Ooh, so very nice. That's what we're doing. So well, we're going to, you're going to do this cake, first of yes, all. Yes, isn't and that beautiful? It is a be that is a beautiful dessert. It is, and it's super easy. Mm -hmm. Actually, in, in Germany, they call it a Wednesday cake because it's something that's so quick and easy, you can just make it in the middle of the week. Oh. Isn't that cool? So it doesn't take any time to do. It doesn't take your... that much time right. to do. So I'm going to show you how Let's easy get started. it is. Uh, the first thing I did is I, I uh, prepared a springform pan. Now, if you don't have a springform pan, you could use a regular pan. Right. Just grease it really well. I even put a little parchment paper in the very bottom just to make it super easy to take out later. So that's step one. Uh -huh. Step two, I've already started creaming some sugar and eggs and butter. I've got a little uh, vanilla and almond flavoring, a little lemon juice in here, and I've already creamed it together. And you're going to help me with the next step. Okay. I've got dry ingredients here, which are flour, salt, baking powder, and we have a little milk. Okay. So I'm going to pour in some milk, and you can just start pouring in flour, and we'll do flour? it together. Yeah. Okay. Yep, we just, just kind of go back. Yeah, a little at a time. Just yep, put it right in there. You can go a little bit quicker. Yeah, there, there we go. I thought go. it was coming out, and it wasn't. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. Yeah, you just kind of alternate back and forth. But I have found with baking, if you kind of do it at the same time, there you just go. a little bits at a time, it's just as easy to do that. And we just kind of mix this together. It's a uh, Again, it's not a difficult recipe to make at all. And, and while we're talking about apples, let's talk about the apples you're using for this recipe today. Yes. Well, which, which ones did you go with? I stuck with Granny Smith. I all know right. there's other kinds of apples that you can use for baking, mm -hmm. but it is important to have an apple that's going to stay firm right. and that has some really good good flavor to it. You and know, Granny Smiths have that really tart. They do. And when they bake up, they get so they get, they get nice. so good. Yeah. And honestly, you you know, you want things that are sweet, but if it's all sweet, then you don't get that that right. punch of flavor. So you see how quick that was that to mix was together. Quick. If you want to bring our pan over and get okay. this out of the way. There we go. And then we just take this here and we just dump it right in our pan. Now it's a thick mix as you can see. Right. So, so this is this going to be a fairly dense cake? Kind of it is, but yeah. it's so moist. And oh, I'll good. be honest, yeah. I'm going to tell on myself a little bit. <laughs> I was in a hurry when I first tried this recipe, and I put in too much butter. And when I went back and looked at the recipe again, I thought, oops, I made a mistake. But I realized I liked my mistake. So I decided to stick with it. Isn't so that the way it goes in the kitchen kind of the sometimes? You make a mistake, but it turns out great. So I have a link to the recipe that I found from a German mm -hmm. website online. But I kind of put in my bakingwithjulie.com. You'll see where <laughs> I kind of played with the recipe because I just can't not play with recipes. That's just in my nature, I guess, as a baker. And so now the next part is we're going to place apples right in the top of this. Okay. And what I've already done is I took the apples, I peeled and quartered, and what may be a little hard to catch here is that I put little slits you scored on the top. every yeah. apple. I cut in about probably a half inch, quarter inch deep and made really thin slices. And you can see how they open up when they bake, oh. see? So that's the idea. So I'm gonna start putting these in and you can too. Okay. Just get them, we're just gonna kinda just put them around the sides. I'll start over here. All right. And you just stick them right in there. I mean, that's- This would be something the kids could help the you with The kids could help you yeah. with this. It's really very simple. I'm gonna put one in the center. Oh yeah. And then we'll just kinda fill in around. And it just depends on how big your pan is and how much apple you them. want in there. And if they don't all fit, it's okay, but they did. Look at that. That's there wonderful. Okay. okay. And so what we do after that, what I like to do uh -huh. is I like to take a little melted butter and just put on top of each apple. Oh, and that's going to put just a, a nice little, little bit, sheen. nice little glaze. Yeah. And then you can sprinkle it with a little sugar if you want. And cinnamon sugar is great. And that's kind of what I did here. And you can right. see the results. As, as it bakes, the cake will rise and goes around the apples. The apples bake, and it is just it is just a very delicious delicious dessert. This one didn't last, but maybe a few <laughs> hours at my house. Once I said, eat me, I put a little sign on it, eat me, because they, they never know what's, what they have to say. And I have a house. feeling it's not going to last long around <laughs> it here. It won't today. last long around here either. <laughs> a little powdered sugar on top right. once you take it out, and it's just a beautiful and so easy to do. And if you're doing a, a dinner uh, for folks and everything, this is such an elegant dessert. It is elegant. And it is. So easy. It's easy, so it's like a Wednesday cake. You don't have to wait till the weekend to have a special treat. You can now have we're going to come back in a moment, yes. and you're going to put together something that I really mm, like. Apple strudel. Apple strudel. Yeah, I really super like. Super easy. All right, we're going to come back in just a few moments. We're going to do that. Go to bakingwithjulie.com for more information. Check out foodcity.com for everything you see right here on the table.